阁下，尊敬的索尔斯国务卿阁下，尊敬的美国贵宾们，今天我们在这里接待美国总统里根阁下和美国贵宾，我们感到非常荣幸。请容许我代表上海福斯宝路有限公司董事长和全体职工表示热烈的欢迎。下面，请本公司的总经理苏德洛普先生简单向大家介绍一下本公司的情况。谢谢。President Ronald Reagan, Mayor Wang Dao Han, Honorable George Shultz, Secretary of State, Cultural Minister Xu Mushi, Honorable Arthur Hummel, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China, Ambassador to the United States Tsang Wen Jin, Mr. Chin, Vice Director SIEB, Mr. Yang Tong, Deputy Director of SFCL, and distinguished guests. It is an honor and a pleasure to welcome you to Shanghai Foxborough Company Limited. SFCL is the first American high technology joint venture. Three years of negotiation gave both partners an opportunity to get to know each other well, thus providing a solid platform for the implementation of the agreement, which was signed between Shanghai Instrumentation Corporation and the Foxborough Company on April 12, 1982. The company's general objective is to contribute to the development of the instrumentation industry of the People's Republic of China in a manner profitable to both investors through the principle of mutual cooperation and benefit. We use the most advanced Foxborough procedures to manufacture and sell those selected industrial process control instruments and systems, existing and to be developed, specified from time to time in a plan that is approved by our board of directors. Those products conform to Foxborough design, specification, and quality standards. Our company is referred to as the model joint venture in China, we, one which others may look to and follow in the establishment of their subsequent operations. That is a very heavy responsibility to place upon the staff and workers at SFCL. However, we have accepted that pioneering challenge, and we expect that due to our efforts and accomplishments, those who follow will find their journey more comfortable. SFCL is committed to establish an organization which emulates, where practical, the management style, policies, and procedures of a Western manufacturing and service company. Mr. Yang and I are most fortunate in that the staff has been responsive to our desires that they adopt practices and procedures which, will, which are foreign to their previous business responsibilities. One must recognize that it is not reasonable to use Western standards to measure Chinese working habits. You must first establish new standards of performance, train in those practices, and then measure individual output based upon those new guidelines and objectives. That is the commitment of both partners of this joint venture. Some major accomplishments which SFCL can highlight during its first year of operation are, we completely refurbished this 100,000 square foot manufacturing and assembly building. 41 members of the management, sales, and technical staff completed three months of training in their respective disciplines in Foxborough, Massachusetts. Over 40,000 man hours of training have been carried out here at SFCL. Our first major system was shipped within six months after Operation Stata. 12 additional orders have been delivered to major users in China and have since given high praise and recommended our products to use by other potential customers. As we reflect upon those accomplishments, we feel very proud and are thankful for the support of our partners and our governments. It has not been a totally calm journey across the sea of implementation. There have been some storms, as there will be in the future, but through trust, dedicated resolution on issues of conflict, and cooperation, we have managed to weather the storms. We look forward to continued support from our partners and our governments as we increase our business and continue to transfer additional products 
that will be required to serve the needs of the Chinese industry and thus meet the requirements of the modernization of China. As your trip is nearing to an end, ours is just beginning, and our wish is that we will meet the challenges and desires of those to whom we are responsible during the 20 years of our agreement. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to present to you the President of the United States, Ronald W. Reagan. Mr. President. Mr. Chin, Mr. Soderup, and distinguished guests and workers of Shanghai Foxborough, thank you for the opportunity to visit this fine company. Yesterday in Xi'an, I had the privilege of seeing some of the wonders and majesty of China's ancient civilization. Your past achievements, illustrious history, and rich culture testify to the spirit and determination of the Chinese people. And today, we're witnessing that same spirit and determination being carried forward into the world of high technology. I'm delighted that American businessmen are working side by side with their Chinese partners to develop new technologies for China's industries. Shanghai Foxborough is one of the first of a growing number of joint ventures between Chinese and American firms. The Shanghai Instrumentation Corporation brings to this new venture a proud record as one of China's leading suppliers of automation products. And the advanced technology of the Foxborough Company will help open new horizons. Your pioneer efforts demonstrate that a promising future beckons for expanded cooperation between our people. We both understand that the capabilities and requirements of our two countries complement each other. We both can be confident that our relationship is based on equality, cooperation, and mutual respect. And we both can be satisfied that the results provide mutual benefits. We're striking a balance between the needs of the Chinese economy and the principles that make for successful business relationships in America. As you know, last year the United States liberalized controls on the export of high technology to China. Today, it was our honor to renew an agreement between our two governments that extends and expands our management cooperation, including the training center in Dalian. And I'm delighted to learn that Shanghai Foxborough has on its team a graduate of the Institute engineer, Shun Wo Zuo. Business partnerships between Chinese and American companies are bound to succeed. The bonds of friendship and partnership in this fine company are a wellspring of hope and progress, of modernization and prosperity. Opportunity has brought results. Shanghai Foxborough is a fine beginning. And now it's time to go forward and to build on this promising foundation. We can make tomorrow even better. And with the skill and cooperation I'm seeing here today, I am sure that we will. Thank you very much, and good luck. Your Excellency, all the workers here in our company welcome you very warmly. And if you could accept this little token of our appreciation, we would be very, very much appreciative. Well, thank you very much. And thank all of you. I am most grateful.
Where is that, man? He's just full, Cal. That's food stuff over there, anyway, right? Uh, excerpted your last speech about religion. Why are you talking about it again today? 